So first things first with the new USRA Heavy Pacific from MTH's Premier Line. This model is not 100% accurate to the real USRA Heavy Pacific. And the model I have here, Main Central number 470, wasn't actually a USRA product at all in the real world. And yet, since getting an accurate Main Central C3 class Pacific is unlikely, and MTH never claimed this to be such a model, an equivalent engine of roughly the same dimensions and lettering will do. Therefore, I won't be judging this model on prototypical accuracy as much as I will on build quality, detail, paint, and operation. I may be a bit of a rivet counter, but you'll see how far my appreciation for this rendition goes as we dive right into this review. The real 470 was built in 1924 by the American Locomotive Company for the Main Central. The engine was used on the Main Central's name passenger trains, such as the Gull and the Bar Harbor Express. 470 was the last steam engine operated by the Main Central, and was preserved as a display piece for many years in Waterville, Maine. Now the engine is undergoing a total rebuild to operating condition by the New England Steam Corporation, for eventual use on the Down East Scenic Railroad of Ellsworth, Maine. Now, as these models shipped in July of 2022, and I filmed this review in August 2022, I don't feel I've had enough time to really give a full review on the model, as so many problems can appear after more than a month or even three of ownership and testing. So for that reason, this will be the first of two reviews of the model. You're watching the short-term review. This will be followed up with a long-term review that will cover any problems that arise after this video. If nothing comes up, then it'll just be me praising the model and MTH for a solid piece I've added to the collection. A rarity with model trains, but only time will tell. Going over the model's detail and build quality, MTH did not disappoint. The details are excellent, with fine attention to the little details like the interior of the bell, builder's plate, bell and whistle pull cords, safety tread, cab figures, coal load, absolutely everything one expects from an MTH Premier steam engine. And while, again, yes, it is not a perfect main central 470 model, MTH did a fantastic job giving the model the look and feel of the real 470. I did notice that MTH changed the tender trucks on this version to better match the trucks on the real 470's tender. It's a little detail that I very much appreciate that helps the engine look and feel more like the real 470. The engine is equipped with MTH Protosound 3.0 and has both stack and whistle steam effects. The whistle steam effect is the same newly redesigned whistle steam feature the 2021 Berkshires and T1s featured, were the steam emitted from the whistle itself and not a hole in the boiler. A huge improvement, MTH. Very happy to see that these are becoming commonplace in the Premier Line steamers. The sound sets are nice. They're good. They're crisp. They're clear. And the PFA sequence is quite nice as well. I ran through it a few times. I got the same thing each time. So I think these models don't have the rotating station name announcements like some of the other passenger engines have. However, I don't really feel that's an issue. The PFA sequence is no less enjoyable because of that. The quillable whistle also sounds fantastic, and the engine sounds have some wonderful volume behind them. The speaker they use in this model is great. The engine's operations have, so far, been flawless. Again, this is a short-term review, as I don't feel I can truly review a model after a mere month 
or two of ownership. But my initial thoughts are that this is a very fitting follow-up to MTH's stellar run of Berkshires last year. With all of these features added up, the price for such a machine, like similar engines in this scale, is almost never cheap. The MSRP is $1,299.99, marketed squarely for established hobbyists. With all of the build quality and features, it's unrealistic to expect anything else. So sometime in the next 6-12 to 12 months I'll be posting a long term review, going over any issues I find, if any. If we are lucky, I'll find that this is a worthy follow up to those amazing 284s from 2021. The 765 I reviewed last year remains one of my favorite models I own, and one of my favorite to run, simply because it is a flawless piece of O-scale engineering. Fingers crossed on the specific. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification button, like the video, comment, and we'll see you next time on Dynamo Scale.